Hello, if this is your first time, I am Kyle and I am one half of the Wandering Shores. So today I'm gonna do kind of a unique boondocking review of Belle Fouche, South Dakota, just northeast of, east of Spearfish, South Dakota. And I had a chance to go out and scout the area. We ended up not camping there because it was going to be too hot in the area, but I've got some great footage from the dash cam and I thought I'd take you through and show you the campsite options out there because there are a lot. It's very gorgeous and perfect for si uh, rigs of all sizes. And I'm gonna take you in and show you on Google Maps kind of the area, talk about some of the resources. Do you enjoy free camping and boondocking across the United States? Well, we've got a lot more for you. If you haven't already checked out thewanderingshores.com and we have an interactive Google map there where you can see all of the spots we've done campsite reviews of as well as things to do in the area. So check us out. All right, everyone, we are inside now. I'm going to give you an overview on Google Maps and kind of show you some of the resources that are available in the area. Like I mentioned in the intro, we did not actually get a chance to camp there because it was going to be close to the high 90s when we were going to be there and we didn't want to run our air conditioner all the time, but I did go out and scout it ahead of time. So throughout this section, I'm going to be dropping in um, somewhere on the screen, some small uh, video of me driving through the areas to give you a better understanding of what it looks like. But there's lots and lots of free camping out there. And there's some resources available not too far, um, either in Spearfish or in Belfouche. So here we are. Let me zoom out a little bit. So I'll give you a picture of where at in South Dakota we are. We're going to be right here. If you haven't checked out, we did a whole... Um, video series on Fort Custer, I'm sorry, Custer State Park in Custer, South Dakota. And then over here in Buffalo, we're going to be doing a new campsite review for that area in the uh, next couple of weeks. So be sure to check that out. But here we are in South Dakota. We are in uh, right just north of Sturgis and Spearfish in Belle Fouche. I believe is how you say it. If it's not, I'm sorry, but that's the way I'm going to say it throughout the video. Um, for a while, I thought it was Belle Fourche, but I think it's Belle Fouche. So here is the reservoir. Now, when you're coming in off of 212, you're going to turn right by Wheel In Bait Shop, and you're going to go north along this road until you get to this intersection right here of Fisherman Road and Susie Peak Road. Now, let me bring you out on the landscape version, and you'll see there's actually a little check-in booth right here that has to do with the Rocky Point Recreation Area and their paid campsites that are over there. But we're gonna get back to that um, to kind of tell you about the resources there. But right as you get to Susie Peak, you're gonna take a left, and I'm probably showing you that here in a clip in the corner. You're gonna go down Susie Peak, let me switch off into this, and you're probably gonna go no more than maybe a mile, and you're gonna to come to this intersection right here and we're gonna turn right into the boondocking area and you're gonna have all of this boondocking area that is surrounding this peninsula. I'll take you out and show you what it looks like on satellite. You can see there's designated little roads that lead out so that you can park. Now in this satellite view, the water level was really low, but it's actually pretty nice now. And you can probably see that in some of the videos, but there is a vault toilet over here, but pretty much you can camp anywhere you want along the outskirts of this. And there are designated areas. You'll see there's a ton of them. They've got campsites, I'm sorry, campfire rings and such. Um, I don't know if you can actually build campfires at this point because we were in a burn ban. Um, but this whole loop area has lots and lots of boondocking available. Um, and as you can see, the video I took was from July 2nd. So this was going to be right up at the holiday. So it's really busy. I don't think it's like that all the time. I had some friends that had gone there before and said that they have lots of opportunity to pick from lots of different sites. But if that area is full or you just don't find anything you like, you can go a little bit further down and you can see here there's offshoots. There's some more spots over here, some more spots over there. You can continue along and this is, gra this is a good gravel dirt road. And even all the way out into where the boat ramp is out here, there is boondocking available along the area right there right there again there again there so you really have ample opportunity for lots of boondocking out out here on the reservoir 
Now, as far as resources are concerned, I've seen reports that Rocky Point Recreation Area here has a dump station in water. I don't know what the rules are about utilizing that for free or if you can pay a day use fee area, a day use fee to use that. Um, but in case you wanted something that was free, back in Belle Fouche, let me back out here to this map, you can see that the, I've got a couple marks here. This right here is a free dump station at the geographic center of the national geographic center of the nation monument pull that up and right back here let me pull us up and go to street view you can see there's a garbage can i don't know if it's still there but there is a dump station right there there is water however as of june um 24 i noticed in one of the posts on i overlander that this water was not working but the dump station still was so that is an option for a dump station i'll zoom back out and over here in town is the laundromat bell laundromat is right here i'll zoom around and show you that that's your laundromat options now if you're looking for uh, groceries i would suggest you take the maybe 20 minute drive back down to spearfish hold on set folks i got this is all messed up now um let me zoom back out you can take the 20 minute drive or so back down to spearfish and there is a walmart there is a safeway and you have lots of options here in spearfish also for other services so hopefully this was helpful if you like this content please give us a thumbs up Hit the subscribe button because we're putting out new content every couple weeks or so, at least when it comes to free boondocking across the country. As I mentioned, check out our spot that we did down in Custer. We're going to be doing some spots here in Buffalo as well, Buffalo, Wyoming. So we hope this is helpful and look forward to having you follow our adventures. Thanks, everyone.